Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. So as you can see, there are plenty of snorkeling fins out there on the market, but what makes them different? Uh, and that's really the features that are on them. Um, they each have their own sort of characteristics and what makes them a great fin. So in this video, we're gonna be looking at the features of a snorkeling fin. Okay, so to start off with, we're gonna look at the real basic fin. So this is just a paddle fin. Um, it has a integrated foot pocket. So this is a full foot fin. So all of your foot goes in there. You've got a little tab at the back to help uh, sort of get that on. Um, what you're really looking for in this style of fin is really the size and the shape of it. Um, so these are quite long fins. They give you a decent amount of propulsion. Um, you want big rails either side. So these are gonna channel the water and really um, during each part of the fin kick, channel it down towards the tip of the blade. If you can find one with uh, sort of two materials of the blade, so it changes the uh, shape, creates more of a channel um, sort of scoop of a fin, um, that's definitely the way to go. Um, if you're gonna be walking around in them, uh, try and do it sideways and backwards, um, but also look for a fairly flat blade. This also makes it easier for it to pack. Um, and again, you're just looking for uh, sort of something lightweight if you want to save some, um, some weight whilst traveling. So this is a very um, sort of basic fin. Um, all you're really looking for are these big kind of rails and this channeling effect, and that's going to help prevent um, sort of channeling in the water. So that keeps your, um, your fin tracking nice and straight and true. Um, but make sure that it fits. You've got to make sure that that foot pocket is nice and comfortable. You don't want it too big, otherwise it's going to start to rub in certain areas. Don't want it too small, otherwise it's just going to be uncomfortable. So moving on from full foot fins, then we go to open heel fins. So open heel fins have this separate uh, sort of heel strap, which is adjustable, so, so you can adjust it to the perfect um, sort of size of your foot. So that's a great sort of alternative. It means that uh, it's perfect size exactly for you, and you can adjust it, makes it easier to get them on and off again. So this, as you can see, is much, much shorter. So uh, easy to pack. This is where you don't want um, a great big clunky fin. If you've never used them before, uh, then a really long fin can feel quite weird, especially when you're trying to um, sort of move in, uh, in shallow waters. So this can be a good alternative. It's nice and small and compact. Doesn't uh, sort of elongate your foot too much, but it will give you a little bit of extra propulsion. Um, but nowhere near as much as a full-blown fin. Um, so that's kind of the trade-off. It's more comfortable. It's a great way to kind of lead into longer snorkeling fins. Um, and if you don't need a great deal of performance, you're just gonna be pooping around a reef just looking at some fish, uh, this might be the way to go. A little bit longer uh, is this one. So this one has a similar sort of open heel structure, um, a bit more limited in the, um, the adjustment. You just have six adjustment points. Um, you basically undo this section of the strap and then tighten it or loosen it, depending on the size of your fins. Um, but what this does have is that two blade material. So we have the harder material here in yellow. Uh, this black material is a, a sort of a softer rubber-like material, and that creates more of a scoop during the, uh, the fin kick that really traps a lot of water and then moves it down towards the tip and, uh, and really sort of moves you through. So whilst it is quite a short fin, it is uh, sort of increasing the efficiency, so it's moving you through the, uh, the water more effectively. Uh, and it's still flat, so easy to pack. It's nice and lightweight as well. Um, so that's something worth looking at. Uh, the final type of heel strap is a bungee heel strap. So these ones are actually elasticated, so they automatically tighten themselves. Um, they hold your foot in position, so that's nice and comfortable. Um, something to look for is a elongated footbed. So the bottom of the footbed goes sort of quite far towards the back of your heel. If it uh, sort of stops midway through your um, down your foot, then you can get cramp, and that can be very uncomfortable in the water. So it's worth looking for a really long footbed something that covers the whole of your foot. Uh, again, you've got to make sure that you get the right size so it's nice and comfortable. Finally, we have a hinged fin. Um, so this uses this sort of hinged clever technology that allows the, uh, the blade of the fin to uh, change its angle of attack so it's more effective. They feel quite floppy when you're in the water, but they're very, very effective at moving you through the water. 
Again, it holds that uh, sort of flat design, so it's easy to pack and easy to kind of move around uh, in the, the sort of shallow surf. Uh, but whilst you're in the water, they're much more effective. Again, we have this uh, full foot design. Uh, just make sure that you get the right size. It's nice and comfortable. But as you can see, obviously, it covers the whole of your foot, so you're less likely to get cramped. So clever designs in there, um, lots of small features, um, but really kind of look for what's the most comfortable and um, you don't have to go for the biggest pair of fins uh, if you're just gonna be snorkeling around the reef, uh, just nice and gentle, uh, then a short pair of fins might be the way to go. Okay, so lots of different features of fins. You're really looking at the foot pockets, whether it's a full foot fin or an open heel fin. Open heel, you get a bit more adjustment, uh, whereas full foot fins, they only sort of suit to one, maybe be two um, uh, sort of foot sizes so they can be more comfortable but if it's not the right size then it's not the right size uh, looking at the length of the fin the longer the fin the more effective but the more cumbersome so if you're not used to fins it might be worth looking for a shorter fin um, packing as well is going to be important. If you're going on a snorkeling trip, um, then you might want a flat pair of fins, something that doesn't have too much of a, um, uh, of a kind of hinge to it. Um, but hinges definitely make your life a lot easier. It allows the fin to be flat uh, whilst it's in storage and whilst you're trying to move around in the shallow surf. But whilst you're actually in the water snorkeling around, it allows for that added uh, sort of bend and flex so a more effective angle of attack. But let us know in the comments what fin you use and why. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.